The Algerian army has been involved in politics since the independence war, during which the military commanders sidelined the political leaders. After a power struggle inside the National Liberation Army, Colonel Houari Boumedienne took the lead. On the French side, a soldier was also in charge, General Charles de Gaulle. And it's thanks to the support of one branch of the FLN, known as the Border Army, that Ahmed Ben Bella became the first president of newly independent Algeria. But not for long. His defense minister, Houari Boumedienne, overthrew him in 1965. And when Boumedine died in 1979, senior army officers chose one of their own to succeed him, Colonel Shadli Ben Shadid. He led the country until the Islamists emerged as a political force and nearly gained parliamentary majority in 1991. As a reaction, the military rulers canceled the election and urged Shadli Ben Shadid to leave power. They appointed an exiled hero of the independence war, Mohamed Boudiaf. He was murdered less than a year later, prompting a cycle of violence that lasted a decade. Intellectuals, artists, and journalists were killed. Gradually, the army neutralized the armed Islamist groups. Abdelaziz Bouteflika, a former foreign affairs minister, came to power in 1999 and slowly gained control over the army. He remained in power for nearly 20 years and prepared to run for a fifth presidential term despite his poor state of health. But Algerians massively took to the streets in February 2019 to call for him to step down. Senior officials were arrested and Bouteflika resigned. That's when the Army Chief of Staff Ahmed Gaïd Salah took over as Algeria's strongman.